What's up YouTube, my name is Sam and I work under the artist name of Kayo. It's raining outside, it's kind of gloomy. That always makes me want to make some sleepy, low tempo, lo-fi beats. I've got a chord progression here that I think is a good start and I thought I'd try something different this time and instead of breaking down how I made it, we're gonna make it together on the video. And I'm gonna show you how I turn a chord progression into a full beat. So this is our chord progression that we've got so far. And then I've actually done a second pattern here where I've added in some top melody higher notes. The next thing that I usually do is add in some sort of a pad, some sort of an ambience. Let's pull open the Labs Azure Piano. We'll turn the attack down so that it doesn't swell too much. And then let's add in a pad. Nice, so now we've got a little bit of ambience, a little bit of shimmer to the pattern. I feel like this could do with another piano sound, a real proper top melody. So let's add in a second piano sound and we're using the Imagero Piano 2. And while I was doing that, I just got another idea for another sort of background piano sound that we're going to plug in now. I'm going to use the soft piano because I just want this to be a background melody and we'll just turn the dynamics up a tiny bit. And then we'll just randomize some of those sounds. Yeah, that's sounding nice now. I want to try out this new bass that I've got from Labs, and that is the Opia Sub Bass. So let's give this a go. Now let's chuck in some drums to start building this out.
nice to know we're getting somewhere. We'll just split this out and then we can start playing around with some sort of an arrangement. to introduce something here after those eight bars maybe let's bring in a guitar sound let's pull up my trusty chill guitar and then before we do anything i'll do some processing so we'll drop a high pass and a low pass on that and then we'll add on some reverb because i know that these settings work really nicely with this sound so let's start trying to add in a guitar sound one tip that I like to use is to add your melodies onto your chords because then you can use those ghost notes to tell you what notes you've got to play with. So let's start with that. We can do a proper mix now that we've got a sound in that's playing. Right, let's split that out. Then we can grab the guitar, select in playlist and drag it down. And what we'll do is we'll introduce the guitar on that second playthrough. And then instead of that guitar looping, what we'll do is cut it there, drag it out and we will cut out bunch of instruments to give that guitar a chance to shine. We'll go back to our first piano that's a bit more stripped back. And now we've got this sort of second bridge section for our guitar, so we can cut that there. And what I'll do is cut everything out, just the guitar, the piano and the pad. So we've got a nice chill ambient section. What I actually might do is then make the second section a little bit more complex. And then we'll go straight back into our section from the start and that will feel really familiar. So now we've got our guitar playing a bridge of sorts. So yeah, I think that's it. I mean, that's how I would make a dreamy, sleepy, kind of lo-fi beat. Like I said, it's raining outside and that always makes me want to make beats just like this. I know I've not really been talking too much, but hopefully you've been able to watch the process. There's still a few tweaks to be made to this beat and I'll do that off camera. I hope you've enjoyed watching how I make these beats. Do let me know if you'd like to see more of these videos of me making beats from scratch, but yeah. I think this came out pretty good. I might finish it off. I might even release it. I don't know. We'll see. All right. Peace.